Greetings Minecrafters and welcome to another Minecraft discussion on all things well-being. My name is Kimberly Quinn and I am very happy to have this conversation today on um, poverty versus prosperity thinking. So with poverty thinking we're really talking about scarcity thinking, right? So poverty thinking, poor thinking versus prosperous or wealthy thinking. Not only talking about money, of course with wealth it includes our family, friends, travel, um, fulfillment at work, blah, 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 golden retrievers, all that stuff. We're going to start with money because it's really important. Um, if you really want the money to roll in, you got to take care of some things at first. So we number one is we've got to let go of any kind of resistant money talk, anything that's kind of blocking money from coming in. We've got to shift out of that dialogue, right? Because we know the universe responds to each and every thought and expands these. So it's really, really important. So um, sometimes we'll say, oh, it seems like, you know, the money just goes out faster than it comes in. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. We want to not say that. We don't want that thought to expand. Not good. Um, people who make lots of money are bad. Okay. That isn't good because that's saying if I, if I make money, that means I'm a bad person. So it's not going to come to you. The universe is like, well, I can't give this to them because then they're going to think they're a bad person, self-esteem in the tank. Why would I do that, right? And then I think of my dear friend Oprah, even though she doesn't know. You know, whenever people had said, oh, she's, she, she, she's wealthy and she could do this, she could do that. Well, you know what? She, 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 made, uh, she built up a school for little girls in Africa because she's big on education. And whenever they start you know, talking smack about my uh, Oprah, who I love, I say, well, you know what? She could be that w wealthy and not do stuff. She does a lot. She does a whole lot, especially when it comes to education. And so people who, you know, are wealthy, even billionaires are not necessarily bad. Got to get that out of your head. Um, and just think, the more you make, the more you can give away if that's your thing. Think about cool and fun it would be to give lots of money away to do something cool. And then there's just the words, lack. Um, we need to watch our money talk. That's number two. We have to watch our money talk because when we say, I want, I need, um, I don't have, and then the if only chat, if only things were different, want, want, want. It's like that, uh, you know, like the uh, Peanuts, Charlie Brown, you know, with, the, uh, with the, the adult in there, want, 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 quit your whining and complaining, right? And, and to realize that the universe re responds to lack with more lack. So if you're talking about wanting and I don't have and if only and whatever, whatever, it's going to, the universe is going to say, okay, well, then here you go. More lack, more deprivation, more stressing out about bills because this is what you're whining about. And here's whining, it gives you more whining, more stress. So we got to watch your lack lingo. Watch your lack lingo. And then lastly, with the poverty thing is that the lottery delusions, let go of this stuff because it's interesting because sometimes I hear people say, oh, it's almost like gambling. It's not almost like gambling, it is gambling. And when we play the lottery, not to say, you know, you put a little ticket in for a birthday card or something, I mean, whatever. But to actually get into that, it's not good. And the thing is, if, if you, you probably know, with it, usually when somebody wins it, within two years, for most people, right back to broke, sometimes worse off and it just sends an overall bad message and the thing is because the reason that happens is because well there's a there's a reason because the consciousness has not changed the internal dialogue has not changed which means if the thoughts haven't changed the feelings and the behavior haven't changed either that person goes right back um to broke and the other thing that's not good is it's really affirming the lack thing it's affirming the lack thing because what that is saying each and time we just each and every time we just buy a ticket it's like okay uh i only deserve to be wealthy if it's a fluke you know it's not about what i the value i bring it's not about staying on my purpose it's not about work ethic it's about i only deserve to have lots of stuff if it's a fluke and it lands in my lap that isn't any kind of way to you know live or think it's just not it's just not good so then the prosperity prosperity mindset that was the third one um so the prosperity thinking has to do um, with the giving versus a taking mindset. We talked about that a little bit before, about shifting out of the taking mindset, that, you know, just grabbing free stuff for the sake of it. I mean, it's one thing if people are giving away pens and you, and you need a pen, but like a lot of times it's pamphlets, flyers, and plastic stuff you just don't need. And some people are deprivation-based, just grab it all because they're trying to fill up some hole inside of them. 
when really it makes more sense to heal that wound inside and then you won't even have a desire for the free stuff anymore, right? So to shift out of that stuff, um, I, oh, and another way to do that is just like if, if, it, if the supply closet just got filled at your, at your job and taking more pens or paper clips than you really need, that's also a way to send the universe a message that, that you're de, you know, deprivation based. And not saying once in a while, but if that's your like habit, oh no, the, all the stuff came in, let me grab three more note pens, let me grab, or no, sorry, notepads, let me grab five more pens and you really only need one or you don't need any. You know, that's, that's all lack based, deprivation based behavior. Um, the second one is develop a tenacious work ethic. My husband and I are both worker bees and uh, we also love what we do, which makes it certainly that much easier. Um, but, you know, monetary success, for the most part, comes out of a tenacious work ethic, which means that it's also this desire to give back to the world, right? It doesn't mean just baking, breaking our back for no reason, that we are have a desire to be other-oriented. Working is other-oriented. And, uh, in fact, I have no intentions of retiring. I love what I do. doesn't mean I won't slow down eventually, but I've actually said to my students, like, for the last 12 or 13 years, if I hit the lottery tomorrow, I'd still be teaching. And now with the new well-being role, I'd still be doing all the workshops and stuff because it fills me up and over the top. Number three is grateful bill paying. You know, there's a lot of whining about bills. Changing that mindset around, like when you pay the electric bill, even if you just rolled change and, trust me, been there. You know, it's like, oh, thank you, universe or God or higher power or whatever. Thank you I'm able to pay this bill. The lights are on. Um, Thank you that I'm able to, uh, or push send. If you're not mailing it, you're pushing send on it. Mortgage, thank you for the house. If I'm able to pay the rent, thank you for, 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 the, for the apartment or, or flat. Um, thank you um, for a car that works. I'm able to pay the bill. Thank you. It's a blessing to be able to pay the bill. The lights are on. I have a roof over my head. I have a car that works. Even if it's not the best, I have a car that works. Then there's the rest of the utilities if you have propane and water and stuff like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm able to pay them. Because think about the stress, obviously, when we can't pay them. When we are grateful for paying the bills, it all brings forth. The universe responds to gratitude with more abundance. The bills will get easier to pay when we are appreciating also what we have taking care of the car, and I'm not the best, and I've gotten way better, because that also shows, okay, she, she really, Kim really likes her Jeep, okay, more, more, more abundance comes, I love my house, which needs a whole lot of work right now, we're doing a little bit at a time, she has five kids, um, so we got the whole downstairs to do, but I've been so grateful, we finally were able to do the kitchen, and that brings more, more abundance, more abundance, and then we'll be able to, to tack, you know, check another box, and check another box, grateful, 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 um, and then we have, after gra uh, grateful bill paying, we have stay on your purpose, okay? Stay on your purpose. There is actually, because, and be grateful for what you're doing, because when, um, and swing your arms wide open, I just did that the other day. Little Giovanni and I were snowshoeing, and I just did, wah, thank you for all of it. Thank you for all of it, absolutely all of it. And even if, if you don't know, you're, you're not aware of your purpose just yet, okay, then we, instead of changing the words to, well, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I don't have a purpose, I don't have meaning, I don't have a purpose, I don't want my purposes, it's change the dialogue to, my meaning or my purpose is on its way. The awareness of my purpose is on its way. There's so many books on this. I remember back in the 70s or 80s or something, do what you love and the money will follow, okay? Meaning before money, that's how it works. Money is the side effect of meaning. Okay, it's so like meaning is, is like the prime rib and the money is like the baked potato or the rice pilaf. Meaning first, money second. Doing what you love. You know, think about all the artists and, and musicians, well, they're artists too, and whoever's out there doing their thing and their passion. I think about little, you know, seven, eight, nine-year-old Michael Jackson when he's a little boy, when he's a little boy, flying around that stage. No idea of paychecks or anything. Just a little, like, second grader. He was flying around, just ba 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 ba, you know. And he, meaning first, money later, and then, um, then remember, okay, that if you're not at that point yet, that that it's that your purpose or meaning is on its way. Listening to the inner voice, the whispers all the time, and then remember that. And here's the mantra: I can bring meaning and value into everything I do. It doesn't matter if you're a teacher, doctor, garbage collector, recycling person, yoga instructor. 
you're you're um, a missionary, Peace Corps, you are a construction worker, you are working at Dunkin' Donuts, you can bring meaning. I actually have a story for that for another time. You can bring meaning into everything you do and bring success into everything you do. And then here it is, the wide open thing I just did, which is, I, I kind of do that, you know, I like that. Because I like the feeling of, wow, I am grateful. I am a good vibe and I'm grateful for my very existence. I am a good vibe. I'm grateful for my very existence. Poverty thinking versus um, prosperity thinking. You think more poor thoughts is going to bring more poor. You think prosperous thoughts is going to bring more abundance. It's just how it is. Remember that it's not all time. Money isn't the only thing to be poor with. We can be time poor. We can whine about how we don't have any time. Well, guess what? You can end up with more to do in less time. When you whine about you know, the, all the self-esteem, you can self be self-esteem poor, self-love poor, self-respect poor. So we're focused on that. The dialogue is every way we're not enough and whatever we don't have, you're going to get more of it. Versus prosperous thinking. The, the universe responds with more abundance because the universe responds to gratitude. Okay, that's it. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from Northern Vermont. Have a mindful day.